Good news to you. Today we have an incredible teaching from Prophet Hubert Angel on how to stay younger. Discover the secrets to maintaining your youthfulness with timeless wisdom and practical tips. You won't want to miss this transformative session. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with others. Second Corinthians that we spoke of earlier on, I believe it was 416. For which cause, Hela Mahotsketabai, for which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perishes, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. It means in the realm of the spirit, the older you get, the newer your spirit becomes. This is this step, this. It's a place of. I may go. I measured you as a mm, low intellect. I come here. In a few minutes, you'll be graduating, so I'll come back. Imagine. How on earth does it take place? So, our outward man begins to perish in the sense that we become older but the side of the spirit becomes younger that means when you are very young the first thing that happens is you are old in the spirit you only become younger by age but there are things we can do in this so are you going to wait until you are 90 to be spiritually younger no let me tell you why because the Bible says your old men shall dream dreams. Not, not, not your young men. Your old men. So it takes old men to actually dream real dreams. That God commissions. But I can make myself old. Because age in the realm of the spirit is measured by light. The entrance of thy word giveth light. And maturity in the things of the spirit is measured by how much light you have, number one. Number two, what about on the physical body? I strain my body to a level where it gains mileage physically. Here it is. This is the reason why fasting is encouraged. Because it strains your body that it begins to perish as it were. While it's you are strengthened in your spirit. Let me explain this. A professor of Harvard who is dealing with genetics and on how who is developing uh, medications on how to be to remove aging. Right now, yes, he's over. He's almost skisty. He looks very young. The guy. He discovered that genes that are responsible for making you younger are never activated in a human body. They are there, but they don't do nothing. That means your body was created to never age. But the part that makes you to be younger is never excavated. So he studied it and realized it is because they are only activated by stress. Let me try here. Oh, you are. Let me try here. So in other words, what begins to happen is this. When you push your body to extremes, the genes that make you younger get activated. This is the reason why men age slower than women. Because women stress men. Anyway, that's a... You just wake up from this sleep. <sighs> so, can I ask you a question? If I was a rat, would you have married me? What? Human beings are supposed to marry human beings, not red. So you will not marry me if I was a red. So you only love me for my looks. Ay, 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 ay. I love you for your heart. What about if the red has the heart like mine? Hi. 
And now the man is trying to find real answers and you can't find real answers and you start answering nonsense. Getting yourself deeper, deeper into trouble. <laughs> anyway, that science part of women and it's not correct. But you can take it. So stress genome is only activated when stress comes in. The, 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 the young age concept relies on your body facing a kind of I'm about to die. So the body says, no, no, you can't die now. So the opposite of you can't die now is actually the gene that makes you to be younger. So now we hear this. So he realized that now he only eats once a day. One meal a day. From morning, the body is like we are dying. And the genes are coming and say, no, no, we're not dying. We're not going. We're not going. We're not going. So immediately, you start having this push. Genes that make you younger. That's why fasting, if you look even in, in medi medical science, they will tell you fasting helps your body. Helps even your skin. Do you know that there are science that actually, scientists have actually discovered that cancer eats some kind of sugar. I don't know whether it's um, what type of sugar it is, but it means one thing. They've realized that if you fast, if you deny yourself any sugar when you have cancer, it is likely to disappear. Why? Because it feeds on it. So the more it feeds on it, you are giving it food. And let me just tell you one thing. I, I try to stop sugar. Ah. I did it one day, the second day, oh, it was as if somebody was about to kill me. I felt persecuted by the devil. But I knew it wasn't going to work at first. Because not only sugar, but it. When you see me, I am sugar as I am. Just imagine, sugar denying sugar. You will be sugar. When you speak, it shall be sweet. When you talk, it shall be sweet. When they see you, they shall see sweetness of God. The Bible says, test and see. So then the man said, I took this cross and it tasted like honey. Even the word of God is like sugar. Are you flowing? Yeah. Sit down. So here it is. Here it is. So he begins to create layers and layers and layers. So in the realm of the spirit, demons and angels understood one thing. On this side of humanity, only a human being is important. That's why the Bible says it this way. Watch this, watch this. The Bible says it this way. That the heavens belong to God, but the earth is given to the sons of men. That means the moment angels heard that, they said, wait a minute. So, so the man, the idea I should have when I'm on, in this realm is to go to Earth's newest creation, which is humanity, you and I. That means this is best. So demons begin to think, angels begin to think, for me to have favor with God, I have to befriend a man. Man here, humanity is what I'm talking about. Woman, man. So now angels know if they come to you, they have put pressure on the dynamics of heaven to have a certain ranking recognized because now they are loving what God loves. That's what the Bible says. What is man that thou art mindful of him? Ah. In other words, you think of him consistently. Here we go. So demons also understood in order for God to suffer we have to punish the man he loves. Because the agenda of God in this age is man. And if the agenda of God is man and he said the earth belongs to man I should work on earth to make God angry. But the plan of demons was not that. 
The Bible says if they had known, they would not have crucified Jesus. So it was out of lack of knowledge that they crucified the Lord. Demons still had hope that if we show God we can send a lot of his people to hell, God might forgive us. Because the moment he forgives a sinning soul, he has to forgive demons and the devil. No, you are not getting what I'm trying to say. So let me, let me go this way. The reason why people who sin have to go to hell is because they are doing exactly what the devil is doing. And the devil's judgment is already set. He's going to hell. That one cannot be reversed. So what God knows is if he changes it, he has to bring the devil back 